In the morning, welcome back. The first day of classes for most USC schools is tomorrow, and students have more than just classes to think about this they, year. Yeah, they do. Last year, college students were learning how to navigate COVID, and this year, students have to navigate monkeypox as well. Yep. Joining us now, Dr. Stefan Schneider, infectious disease specialist. Dr. Schneider, thank you so much for joining us this morning. What can college students do to avoid monkeypox? Well, college students are not specifically different from other people. Nevertheless, they um, are advised, just like everyone is, to avoid uh, intimate contact, which has been the primary way of transmission of monkeypox during this global outbreak that we're facing now. So anybody who has uh, signs or symptoms consistent with monkeypox should be avoided, particularly in that setting. If someone himself or herself has um, signs and symptoms of monkeypox, then they should refrain from going out, attending gatherings, and following advice by the uh, LA County Health Authority. And doctor, uh, hygiene obviously important. How uh, important are simple tasks like just washing your sheets more often? That's a very good question, and um, that's been thought about. We are not entirely sure what these so-called fomites uh, can do, but the guideline from CDC is to clean and disinfect the areas where people with monkeypox have spent time and perform disinfecting with an EPA-registered disinfectant that's uh, got a label uh, that mentions emerging viral pathogens. And um, that can be looked up on a so-called list queue, which the EPA has published on its website. And doctor, you talked about avoiding intimate contact. What qualifies as intimate contact? What we are primarily concerned about in this outbreak is really sexual contact. And uh, at this moment in time, the understanding that we have from this outbreak is that about 98% of people affected have been men who are having sex with men. But anybody who is having an intimate contact in a high-risk sexual setting could be affected. Okay, you say high risk sexual setting. So what if people are practicing safe sex? Does that matter? That does matter still. We uh, know that uh, the lesions that monkeypox causes are really the primary way of uh, picking up the infectious pathogen. And so the safer sex that has traditionally included, of course, the use of condoms, um, that is definitely something that plays a role. It will not entirely uh, abrogate the possibility of transmission. There is a very nice uh, worksheet uh, that's been put out by CDC, but also by the WHO, that is very detailed on the sexual practices and what it is that one might do to reduce um, the uh, risk of uh, exposure. And doctor, if you think you have monkeypox, uh, what's the first thing you should do? Uh, obviously, go to a doctor, I guess, right? You certainly should call your doctor. Also, you can call the local health authority. We here in Long Beach have uh, the Long Beach Health Department. Uh, that's your first uh, point of contact. Um, be mindful of the fact that if you have truly been exposed, uh, there is uh, the possibility of post-exposure vaccination. The vaccine is still in relatively short supply, but it is particularly effective if it's given within four days after the exposure to monkeypox. And doctor, I had one final question for you. What about the students who play maybe close contact sports or if you want to give your friend a hug? Is that an overreaction if you don't do those things when it comes to monkeypox? Well, if you had somebody on the team who is actually infected with monkeypox, then you would want to avoid that. Um, but in the general setting that we are in, this is not something that I would be particularly concerned about. Uh, we're not at a stage of this epidemic where we all have to uh, behave as it was with COVID, where we have to begin uh, isolating. Nevertheless, um, if you have anybody on the team or in the setting who is perhaps showing signs of monkeypox, then that person should be uh, certainly avoided to be contacted in this way. All right, Dr. Schneider, some great information there. Dr. Schneider with the St. Mary Medical Center. Thanks for joining us this morning. My pleasure. Have a good day.